Hello everyone, Jimoya JP, and today I bring you another statue, one four scale. This is uh, the mighty and rare. Only a few maids, I think seven days. We're gonna see that Chrono Trigger by uh, Swan Black Studio or Black Swan Studio, actually. Yeah. So this is uh, Chrono Trigger, another game that I play with back in the. Super Nintendo 90, mid 90s, and then 2007 actually on the DS. I did have the PlayStation version in uh, 2001, if I'm not mistaken. I did play that one, and then the DS in 2007. And I'm yet to play it on the channel. So we're gonna get that eventually. So here it is, you guys. This statue is epic. You've seen a short that I posted a while back. Some months ago, I think, or actually, yeah, some months ago. So, yeah, look at the box. Chrono Trigger. So, it's Chrono. It's under the um, international name, which is uh, Chronos. And then in the game, US game, it's actually Chrono is named. Instead of C-H-R-O-N as a title, it's by the title, but in uh, his actual name in the English, it's Chrono. So C R O N O, but in the Japanese it's Chrono, but there's a debate on that. So whichever way you like it. So yeah, let's pull this thing out and uh, got the turntable like I do with uh, the previous statue, which was the Kid Link by Dream Studio. So this one they only made a few, and uh, sold that actually. So I supported this project from day one. Look at that box art though. Anyways, let's pull this baby out. So, here we go. So, uh, Black Swan Studio is actually a partner of Solar Studio. Seems like they're the ones that packed it. Probably live in the same area with both studios back to back. And uh, Solo Studio focuses on Final Fantasy, which I haven't got any other statues. The one that I, when I found them too late, they sold out on a uh, wanted Squaw, Lionheart from Pharmacy 8. And uh, they do made all the other characters. They did Ada, Cypher, and I think that's it. I think the next one will be Quozette, I think. Uh, the Blue Mage, she's probably the best Blue Mage as a character in the Final Fantasy series, quote that pretty blonde glasses, uh, mature woman. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyways, enough of that. Also, I got a rash going on today. I didn't know if I was going to do that, but you can see it on my arm. Damn heat. But uh, that's not stopping me from doing this. Wow, Solar Studio, though, I'm impressed that they're the... Yeah, they partner up, I knew that, but... Well, they actually got the straps. And um, I'm hoping one day I can get that uh, Lionheart Squall. Because he looks definitely very detailed. I think he looks exactly, if not better, than the CGI version. But, um... Yeah. So anyways, let's pull this bad boy out. And uh, remove straps. This one doesn't come just with the sword, and uh, I don't think there's other extra, but I can't wait to see what number is this, so here we go. So here we go, I've removed the straps. And, uh, I'm pretty sure there's, oh yeah, one of them has, never mind, so there is a two part because the base is on the next, pretty sure it's the bottom here. So let me, hold on. So, removing the bottom part leads to the base. And look, at this is, uh, if you guys are familiar with Chrono Trigger or you play the game, you guys know that this pattern here, it's when you in, go into Magus Castle uh, boss battle, when you reach him, and then the fire is lit up, boom, 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 all that blue flames, and then Maggot appears. We got some idiot uh, cutting the grass outside, so forgive me for that. Damn, really detailed. Oh my god, this is heavy. 
I was thinking about putting this off because I'm running out of space. Um, I don't know if I can put this on top of a detox. Wow, man, that is heavy. Whew. So let's pull him out. Pull out the base first, and we'll go from there because it's the heaviest one. That well, the heaviest in the statue. Of course, always the base. So here we go. So turning around the base, Chrono. I got number 25 out of 70. And you guys know I've been having. I'm always in those numbers. Uh, yeah. So same thing with uh. Same thing with Young Lee. So this is 23 out of 225. Too bad my Witcher, um, I think, I don't remember exactly. I'll have to look at the video, but yeah, 25, not bad, I guess. I do like the base. So let's put it onto the turntable. So it's on the turntable. Yeah, love the detail on the base. So uh, let's see what's next. Um, oh, these are the flames. We're gonna have to put the flames, I forgot. And there's one, two, three. Yeah, so because they come with the base, so. There's flames that go around it. I think I'll put those last. Yeah, I'll put them last. So, um, let's get the main. Yeah, I'll put those last. Because if I'm putting things, I don't want to break them once. Uh, I'll put those last ones, chrono and everything. So, his katana. From what I was told, what the studio said, it, it is made out of metal, so. So I gotta definitely see what's in here. Oh, so this is a sheath. And, uh, but yeah, let me, let me start pulling out things. So we start off with the sheath. Oh, hey, they shouldn't put a hole here to make it look like it's where, you know. It's just for show. I can't... I have to look at a picture reference to see if this is accurate, because I know this is based off a official art, so... Yeah, so anyways, on to the next. Oh damn, that's the head. That's a huge head, of course. What's in here? Uh, oh, his um, his uh, bands for his uh, arms, I believe, and the bandana on his head. Put those to the side. Actually. Yeah, let's, uh, let's make sure that none of, yeah, let me inspect these and pull them out real quick and we'll put them on that side so I know, just need to make sure nothing came broken. So, this is the thing that goes on his pouch on his bag, I didn't know that was removable. And then these are the things that hold uh, his sheath for the his katana sword. I don't know those were also removable. I thought they were going to be literally uh, risen to his uh, clothes. But I guess that's a good thing. And, uh, yeah, so let's remove them and uh, put them to the side. So they're up to the side. Also, I fixed my camera settings on my phone, so now it looks clearer than it did on my previous videos. Because uh, I knew some settings had to get fixed. And then I don't have to literally focus on it. So this is the katana. It comes with a hand uh, connector. You don't remove literally the katana off the hand, sadly. 
There was an issue. I have to see if they fix it. And I'll show you guys on this video if they did or not. With uh, C uh, mod um, what do they call it? Reference pictures. The prototype. I uh, couldn't tell if they did fix it or not. So we're going to remove that now. So here we go. Yep, so... Um, they had a, a dilemma. This uh, right here, it had to look like it was... Uh, you had to see a little bit to make it look like he is holding it. And they should have added a little bit of this black somewhere around here. It's not to me. Um, uh, it's hard to say. They should have and maybe a little. I don't know. To make it look like he's actually holding it, you know what I mean? Like it should have been like a little bit black shown, just a tiny here to make it uh, look like he is holding this. But I don't know what you guys think. Oh well. It looks okay, I guess. I think it just needs a little bit more black here. To make it look like he's actually holding this. The blade looks amazing. It's actually real metal. Heavy. I like that they use a the blue. Kind of like an animation color to it. To make it look animated instead of realistic. like the blue so that one was here okay so let's put that to the side move on so his uh scarf is right here what's this oh yeah this was the katana we took that out and then uh, yeah so the scarf or it's part of the scarf actually. Let me take it out. Just to show you the detail on the scarf too. So we remove that, yeah. What's in here? We still don't have the number card. I'm sure it's somewhere. Oh yeah, we already did that part. What's this here? Oh, it's in here. Here's a stand for that card. I knew we had a card. A card? Hmm. Oh, card is right here. I'll take that last, I guess. So. Okay, body's right here. And big old head in there. So we're gonna, yeah, I guess we'll start with the body. First and foremost. Damn, it's a big body. Let me get him out. When they say one four scale, they're not playing around. In person, this is huge. It doesn't look big on, on camera, but it's uh, huge. Look at my hand. Look at the detail. Nah, I don't want to hold it with one hand and end the video. I don't want to drop this. So, wow. So let's put that onto the base. I'll have to figure out what position does he go in. Yeah, so let me figure this out. I'll put them on the base. That looks nice. Check that out. Spin this boy.
So let's um, put the head, I guess. Okay. So sadly, I don't have a perfect setup for him where it's gonna display, but I'm not putting him back in the box. I'm gonna have to figure out something else where I put him tempo, temporary until I get a pro This room is too damn small, I need to move. So yeah, the head. So here we go, I gotta take this off slowly. The head is like the most fragile, I think, because of the hair. There goes the head, you guys. He looks a lot lighter in the uh, off camera. For some reason, it's picking up like a different color on the skin. I'm surprised. So is uh, the muscles on his uh, arms, the skin, literally. But look at the detail, you guys, on the. Pretty cool. Looks very detailed. See if I can. Oh my god, this is heavy. I want to show you guys the detail. So, those are, I think, yeah, those are decal. His eyes are decal. I think it would have been more expensive if they used bubble eyes. So, the hair looks amazing. Uh, what's his name? The creator of Dragon Ball is literally amazing. I like how the Dragon Ball It's unique. Actually Chrono Trigger comes close to that Dragon Ball art even though Dragon Quest is also part of the same. Uh, I forgot his name I have them in my head all the time. I just for some reason on my Yeah, like yeah Chrono Trigger is just so unique just like in Dragon Ball like the same art Look like Goku with red hair <laughs> I like that frown on his mouth. On his damn, they did a good job though. <laughs> All right, so let's put the let's put this head. Damn, he looks epic. This is my side. Where's the side view? Yeah, right there. Yeah, this statue. Uh, I mean, quality. I thought it, it in pictures that they show me from. I didn't thought it was gonna live up to it. I'm like. I don't know, it's too much money. It's like close to $800. But now in person, yeah, definitely worth it. I eat my words because I was talking negative about it. It doesn't look bad now. So let's move on to the next part. So we are missing... We're missing a hand. Oh, I think it's in here actually. Wow, I found it. Right next to the body. Let me remove that. Man, that looks dope. Pens are very detailed. This is the one that's holding the cheek. For some reason, I don't know why the camera's picking up this color a little bit darker. It's actually light. Love the detail in the band. So, I think I can put this one on. I think it goes on like, let me see.
like that. Damn, he looks beautiful. He looks badass. So what are we missing? No, we're done actually. Oh, I just gotta put the katana. Looks like there's uh, something that go. Oh yeah, the scarf goes there. So I'm gonna just put the rest, you guys. I don't think you guys. Uh, just to make the uh, finish this video per se, and, and then we have to put the flames around the magus flames around him, and yeah, we'll go from there. So I'll show you guys piece by piece every time I put a part. So let's put that uh, the bow scarf. I think it goes right there. There it is. I had to remove the head first, and then put it, and then put the head. Okay, so now let's put the bandana behind his head. Right there. So here we go. So apparently there's two that you can put. Uh, one where it looks like it's going across and then one like it's blown in the air. I don't know which one I want to display it with. That one or I'll put it like that so we can see actually. Or for that one. No, I like the other one better. Yeah. Yeah, I like the other one better. I think the other one's more fragile, though. If it hits something, it might break, because it's more spread than together. Uh, yeah, let me put the other one back. Yeah, I like this one better. Look at that. Yeah, much better. So now let me put the little thingy that goes right there. I think it goes like that, I don't know. So you could put it the other way around, but I'll check after. Okay, so now uh, we need to put the, I guess I should put the sword. I'll put it after we put the sheath. And uh, we gotta put the little stringies. Actually, oh yeah, the arm can be removed. It's gonna get in the way somewhere in there. Put those things. And I'll connect the sheath. So here we go. So the hardest part was putting the strings that that hold the sheath right there. You have to literally put pressure. And I didn't want to do it because I was afraid of break, but they went in. They literally go suck in. <laughs> now they hold the sheath. So you have to remove the gold cap from this. And uh, let me put it back on. So far so good. He's holding it. There it is. You can probably see it. Right there. He's holding it. Yeah, the base is super heavy. There's no way I put this on top of a detail. I'm afraid of the glass breaking with all the pressure from all the weight.
And we have to put the, I put his blade, his hand, the blade, and um, the fires, and we're done. And then I'll show you guys the, the card with the number. He looks amazing though. I'm impressed. But let's put that blade with the hand. And it's on. I mean, he don't look that great. Well, he does, but I think posing him will be like this, like in the art. Or, uh, I like it this way, actually, where it's like that. So yeah. So um, let's put the, the flames. And uh, yeah. So I accidentally cut the video, pressed the wrong button. So on that, I probably connect them into one video. So I will. Yeah, let's put the flames. So the flames, these are Megan's flames. They're translucent, like a purple, violet, red. So there's, a, uh, am not sure, six of them? They go all around him. I wish they light up. They, they would have been epic, but sadly that would have cost more, I guess. They got magnets. Alright, so I'm not going to show you each one because they're all the same. So I'm just going to put them all and we'll go from there. There it is, you guys. Moment of truth. Those flames were a pain in the butt to put on. Because uh, they're all different shapes, so I had to guess or look at them. But uh, yeah, those were the Magus flames. Magus's castle uh, flooring, the pattern and it lights up when Magus shows up to battle. Chrono and his friends. Can't wait to replay this game again. It's been so long. So now to show you guys the card and. Uh, and then we're done. So let me pull it out. So the card came on a protective, plus you can display it. It comes with a stand. This is official art, obviously. So yeah, the number, I guess it should be displayed somewhere in there. So let's check. So the, this is it, it's just an art uh, card, I would have thought it had the number on there, usually they always have these cards for display number, so I had 20, what, 25, something like that, so yeah, there's just an art, it's for the art I guess, just to display for pictures, because it's chrono. Yeah, let me put that back. So there it is, you guys. In all of its glory. Sadly, I can't move it because it has so much weight underneath. It's on my bed. I don't have a place where I can actually put the turntable. Pretty epic.
Let me see if I can turn it. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. I like it. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, so I'm gonna see what am I gonna do. I like to put light. Alright you guys, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And that's a uh, Chrono Trigger, or Chrono, one four scale. Alright guys, take care.